Good morning, good morning. You never miss a Monday. It is Monday, the first of the month, June 1st. I am Coach Ryan. I will be leading you through today's at home OTF workout where the focus today is Greatest Hits Day, volume number eight. It's hard to believe it's been eight volumes of Greatest Hits. All right, we've been trucking and trucking along, team. Cordio, you heard that name before, Cordio. So we got some core and cardio focus for you today. What you'll need today, mat and towel, and you'll just need a chair, step, bench, stool, something that you can place your hands on, something that you can sit upon, and always that positive attitude, positive energy. If you are viewing this later on, Facebook, YouTube, we'll start to get started with the dynamic warm up around the 445-ish mark. But we never miss a Monday. We're coming off of all out mayhem. All right, it was an awesome, awesome six days. But you know what? We're going to keep on rolling with greatest hits this afternoon. Okay? It's still morning, so I like to say good morning, good morning. If you're joining me live, good morning, good morning to you. Never miss a Monday, team. I'm always excited about greatest hits Monday. Okay? And let me tell you what, cordio and we got... We got weather advisory coming at you at today's workout. We got a tornado block from April that we did. I remember doing this block, and let me tell you what, fan freaking tastic. So get ready. Okay, hopefully, everybody's having a good day. It's a beautiful day outside here at Williamsburg. Not too hot. Not too cool, kind of that perfect temperature. Okay, so we're gonna get you moving, get those heart rates up, get those core muscles engaged throughout the workout today, and then we'll send you off on your very way so you can enjoy this beautiful day. Remember, no, not a lot of equipment needed today. All you need, mat and towel, and a chair, bench, stool, step, something like that. That's all you'll need today. No weights needed today. Oh yeah. There you go. I'm like, I'm like a caged animal. Yeah, I just can't wait. I can't wait. You see that? Okay. That's the power. That's the excitement coming at you. So maybe if I give you a little bit, I'm going to give you a little bit of that. There you go. You got it. Okay. So you might be getting the shakes right now. Okay. You're welcome. I gave you some of that power. I gave you some of that energy. Okay. Just use that. Use that for that tornado block that we got coming at you. A couple more minutes, team, and then we'll go ahead and get started. There you go again. If you enjoyed All Out Mayhem last week, I know I did. I know I personally did five of the workouts. The goal was to try to get four. Some crazies out there did all six. Congratulations for getting through all out of mayhem, but he did four, five, six, only a few of them. Congratulations, those were tough at home workouts team, especially day five, day five, that Saturday, let me tell you what, that was the best one right there, okay? But congratulations for completing the challenge. Remember, Orange Theory has posted recovery videos on their YouTube channel. So I highly recommend you go over to the Orange Theory corporate YouTube channel to check out some of those recovery videos. They were posted during All Out Mayhem. I recommend that you continue to use those videos, team, as you work out your at-home routine, whether you're doing this, running, lifting, whatever. I highly recommend that you go ahead and view those recovery videos and to use them, team. Okay, your recovery is important. It helps you to prevent injury and also to help you recover so you can have better workouts. Okay, better workouts equals better results. You need that recovery team. So I harp on it, I'll continue to harp on it. Go to those recovery videos. I highly recommend that you do those team. Here we go, here we go. Greatest hits, volume number eight. Eight is great. Yeah, that'll, that'll be my tagline for today. Eight is great. Okay, so I got Noodle on my watch. 
So we'll go ahead and get started. Again, good afternoon to you. It is the first of month, June 1st. I'm Coach Ryan. I'll uh, be leading you to today's at-home OTF workout. Greatest hits, volume number eight. Eight is great. Core and cardio will be the focus today. We have a core block. We have two working blocks, a mini core block, and then a 26-minute tornado block. And as always, we have a dynamic warm-up to start and a flexibility block to end. Your dynamic warm-up, five minutes, five exercises, one minute each, which I will demo real quick, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Your first movement is the cobra swing. So you're going to lay down on your belly. Your arms are going to start at the small of your lower back, and then you're going to bring the legs and chest and shoulders off the ground, extend the arms forward, back, and back to the ground. We'll do those for one minute. Next, T-spine rotation. You're going to get into a tabletop position. Knees are under the hips, hands under the shoulders, back flat, shoulder blade pull back, one hand behind the head. Inhale as you drive that elbow toward the opposite side. Exhale as you open up the shoulders and drive out. 30 seconds each side. Next will be the dynamic ankle mobilization. Hands under the shoulders. We're going to get to a high plank position. From here, we're going to bring one foot behind the heel and calf of one leg. Push that grounded heel toward the floor. Back in high plank and reset option. Reduce the range of motion. Next will be the isometric bird dog hold for 30 seconds each side. Tabletop position. We're going to extend opposite arm and leg. Focus on breathing and lengthening your body. We're going to hold for 30 seconds each way. And then finally, the bear plank shoulder tap. From the tabletop position, gently lift the knees off the floor. Your knees are under your hips, and you're going to alternate tapping the opposite side shoulder. Option, it can be done from the knees. Five exercises, one minute each, and then we'll go ahead and get started with cardio. Grand hits, volume number eight. Let's get set, team, for the Cobra Swing. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's roll. So start out. Hands and small back. Exhale up. Arms come forward. Back to the small of the back. And reset. This exercise, this drill, really waking up the posterior chain. Go back. Opening up your shoulders and lats as well. Halfway, 30 seconds. Take your time here. This movement isn't about speed. You go to your range of motion here. And breathe like I am. Breathe through these movements, 15 seconds. There we go. Team T-spine rotation. Three, two. One, T-spine rotation from tabletop. One hand behind the back. Inhale down, bring the elbow toward the opposite side. Exhale as you open up. Push through the floor with that grounded hand. That will help to engage the core, chest, and shoulder muscles to the opposite side. Inhale down, strong exhale. Come out. And let's switch sides in three, two. One, let's switch sides. Back flat, shoulder blades pull back in that tabletop. Remember, push through the floor with that opposite side hand to engage the chest, shoulders, and core muscles on the opposite side. We got 15. Go, you know, get your mind right, try to get your mind right, get ready for this workout. Ankle mobilization in three, two, one, from the high plank, remember, one foot behind the calf and heel of one leg, back to high plank, driving that knee down towards the floor, and back. Really warming up those calf muscles here. We're going to have a lot of dynamic movement today, so we're going to get those calves warmed up, loose, and ready. In three, two. One, let's switch sides. You go to your range of motion here. You go at your speed. You want to hang out that stretch from the calf a little bit? Do it. 15 seconds. I like to hang out that stretch for a little bit. 
before he said it. Bird dog hold coming at you in three, two, one. Opposite arm and leg extend. Let's hold here for 30. Breathe. Really here, we're focusing on balance, engaging the core. The hand that's grounded should be under your shoulder. Push through the floor with that hand. Again, that'll engage the chest, shoulders, and core muscles on that side. And breathe. And three, two, one, let's switch sides. Opposite arm and leg extend. Remember, push through the floor with that grounded hand. Focus on breathing. Squeeze the glutes and hamstrings. 15 seconds. Try to lengthen your body with each breath. All right, bear plank shoulder tap in three, two, one. From the tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, gently lift those knees off the floor. Bear plank position, tap the opposite side shoulder. Now your goal as you tap, your focus is stability, control. So as you tap, try to keep the rest of your body as still as you can. Primary job of the core is to protect the muscles surrounding the spine and to reduce rotation halfway. So as you tap, try to keep the rest of your body as still as you can. That'll make it a lot tougher. That'll engage your core muscles a lot more. 15. Control this power. Three, two, time. All right, here we go. Two working blocks today. Remember, focus is core and cardio. First block, we have two movements, all right? Five minutes block, 30 seconds each movement, okay? We're gonna start with the side plank forearm crunch. So you're gonna get into a side plank position, leg stack, feet stack, elbow directly under the shoulder, we're gonna lift the bottom hip and glute off the floor, hold this position, and then crunch slow and controlled. Top elbow, knee together, squeeze the obliques on that top side. Your option, bend the bottom leg, but keep the bottom hip and glute high off the floor. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side, and then the second movement for 30 seconds will be the high plank oblique knee tuck. So you're gonna start, in high plank position, hands under shoulders, butt down, back flat, feet about hip width apart. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump both knees toward one side elbow, reset high plank, switch sides, reset high plank. As an option, you can walk the feet to the same side. All right? After we do that, we'll have 15 seconds rest and then we'll repeat those three two more times. Three rounds total five minutes, okay? Remember, control is power. For these movements, control. Tempo will be the focus. We're gonna start team. Side plank for our crutch. Let's pick one side. In three, two, one, let's go. Remember, 30 seconds here. Take your time. There we go. We got 15. Squeeze those obliques of that top side. Exhale, coming in. Inhale, extending. And we switch sides in three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Breathe. Inhale, extend. Exhale, driving in. We got 15. Just like that bird dog for the warm up, lengthen your body as you extend. Here we go. High plank oblique knee tuck in three, two, one. 30 seconds. High plank position. 
both knees to the outside and one knee, reset, and switch sides. Remember, this isn't quick neither. We're still focusing on core, 15. Control is power. Remember, option, walk the feet, reset. Walk the feet, reset. In three, two, time. 15 seconds, team. Round one done. We're gonna head into round two. Let's start on that original side of the forearm side plane crunch. In three, two, one, let's go. Inhale, exhale. Here we go. Control here. 15 seconds. Here we go. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Three, two, one, let's switch sides. That's it, team. Remember that option? Bend that bottom leg as an option. We got 15. Uh huh? Here we go. I plan to go bleak knee tuck. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Remember, control here. Slow it up. Reset. That reset is important. Reset high plank and then switch sides. 15, not about speed. We'll get the heart rates up later. This is about control. In three, two, time. 15 seconds, couple deep breaths. Two nose out of the mouth, and then we got one more round before it's tornado time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oblique side plank crunch. Back to the original side. There we go, control team. 15 seconds. Yes, yes, come on. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Remember, control here. Control the movement. Extend. Really squeeze the obliques. 15. Lengthen your body on that extension. Here we go, high plank, oblique knee tuck, three, two, one. Final 30 of this core block. Control here. Squeeze the obliques each rep. Focus on the high plank, each reset. 15. today's workout with a 26 minute tornado block. Here's the deal. We got five exercises in this tornado that we'll do for one minute a piece. Round one, 30 seconds of rest in between. Round two, 45 seconds of rest in between each movement. Round three, one minute of rest in between each movement. First movement, scissor jump. Start out, Set position, shoulders down and back, navel in towards the spine, feet on railroad tracks about hip width apart. And we're gonna quickly drive the feet out and back. Raising up those opposite arms as an option. You can do a quick step back as an option, okay? High knee three step is the next one. We're gonna start 
one knee up. We're going to stay in the same spot. We've done similar exercises. One knee up to start, opposite arm up, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Knees come to about hip level. Option, slow it down, or reduce the range of motion. One, two, three, all right? Next exercise, chair hop over. High plank position on your chair, bench, step, stool. Hands under the shoulders, butt down. We're gonna bring those feet up in the air as we hop. Both feet up and over, like you got an imaginary line that you're going over. Option, you can step the feet up and over. Next tricep, chair dips. So we're gonna stack your hands behind your back, right under your shoulders. Roll the shoulder blades back, legs extended. We're gonna come down to your arms with parallel to the floor and push through the chair. Try not to bring your hips up first. Push through the chair to bring your body up. Option, reduce the range of motion and or bring your heels in closer to your body. Finally, high plank, single leg lift, 10 meets up. 30 seconds each side. We're gonna start out in high plank position. And then on one side, we're gonna drive one leg up, small range of motion, so your hips don't dip. After that leg lift, exhale, and then bring that knee in toward your chest to about hip level. Option, reduce the range of motion, or that opposite leg can be grounded on the floor. Once we finish all five movements, we'll have one minute in between each four rounds, okay? So, let's get started with that scissor jump. Remember, one minute of work, every movement. Scissor jump, push, uncomfortable effort, trying to find that orange zone. Here we go. Let's roll with tornado scissor jump three. Two, one, let's go. Here we go, team. Now notice I'm moving my arms. Okay, whatever foot goes up, that opposite side arm goes up. Kind of like the foot exchange exercise where we had the imaginary box. It's the same movement. Remember I say don't run with scissors, don't run like this. Scissor jump, halfway. Breathe through it, team. Come on. 15. Come on. In three, two, time. 30 seconds. So remember, round one, we got 30 seconds of rest in between each movement. The next movement coming up is the high knee three-step. Remember, you start with one leg up, one, two, three, okay? You pause on that third step. On that third high knee, you pause. So pause at the top on that third high knee. Here we go. High knee three-step, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, three. So here, as opposed to previous workouts, here with this three step, you're staying in the same spot. Same thing, uh, moving up, opposite side arm, knee comes to about hip level. Here we go, halfway, 30 seconds. Number option, reduce the range of motion, or slow it down as an option. Third high knee, we got 10 seconds. Cool. Three, two, time. 30 seconds. So you know my rules and recoveries. Reps, stay up tall. Okay, you can have your hands overhead, hands on the knees, whatever you do. Try to resist the urge to punch over. Stay tall throughout your recovery. It's 10 seconds, and then we're going to so share hop overs. Remember, push, I'll come forever, try to find that orange zone. Three, two, one, share hop overs. 
Now you're trying to get uncomfortable, trying to push. You're also trying to maintain movement for the entire minute. So this is an uncomfortable effort that you can maintain for the minute. Here we go, team, come on. All right, we're halfway there. 30 seconds. You got it, come on. Back flat, show leg pull back. We got 15 seconds. If you got an imaginary line in between the seat of your chair and bench, that's your hopping over, that's your clearing. In three, two, time. 30 seconds. Deep breaths. Stay tall. Next, we're going to go just slow that heart rate down a little bit. We're going to our strength move. The chair tricep dip. Now, remember, when you come up, initiate the up part of the movement by pushing through the chair. Don't push through your hips. Push through the chair with your arms. Three, two, one, let's go. Now I have my legs straight. That's the all out version. Or as an option, reduce the range of motion or bring the heels in closer to your body. Whatever your option, okay, whatever your foot position, again, your hands are directly under your shoulders behind your back. And again, Push through the chair, through your hands. Try not to come up with your hips. Focus the movement on the back of the arms, the triceps, by pushing through the chair with your hands. 15. Inhale down. Exhale. Three, two, time. Oh, 30 seconds. It is a long time on that exercise. You feel that? Right in the back of the arms. Okay? You got about 20 seconds, and then we're going to go to that high plank, single leg lift, and knee tuck. Remember on the leg lift, don't bring your legs up too high. You'll lose your hips. Your hips will dip that way. Small range of motion on the lift, and then the knee comes in toward the chest. We're going to do 30 seconds all on one side. Three, two, one, let's go. Small range of motion. In. Now, the core control here. This isn't about getting the heart rates up. 15 seconds. Control is power. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's switch sides, reset. Let's switch legs. Remember option, that grounded side, you can have your knee on the ground as an option on that grounded side, come on. 15. Keep the butts down, back flat. Pretend you got that drink on your back that you're not trying to spill as you work. Three, two, Time. Here we go. That was round one. Okay. So now we have a minute before we start round two scissor jumps. Round two, we have 45 seconds of recovery in the movements. So with that longer recovery team, the goal is to try to at least match your intensity from the previous round. If you have a little bit more intensity, you can last that full minute. If you keep your form, take it up a little bit the next round. But again, the goal with this extra rest coming up is to try to match your previous intensity. Grab a drink, because we got about 15 seconds before we take off for round two of the scissor jumps. All right, team, trying to get uncomfortable here. Try to find that orange zone. Three, two, one, scissor jumps. 
So remember, think of this as the push. Push the all out type of effort, because you got 45 seconds of recovery after this minute. So let's earn it. Here we go, come on, come on. You got this team halfway. Here we go, come on. Try to match or beat slightly. Last round's intensity, because you got more rest coming up, come on. 15, plus side if you got it, come on. Get those arms moving. Three, two, time. 45 seconds. Grab a drink if you need it. Control the breathing. Drag your recoveries. Deep inhale, strong exhale. That's it. Never miss a Monday, team. Never miss a Monday. We're coming right off the all out mayhem, but guess what? Just because mayhem is done, doesn't mean our work stops, team. Here we go, 15 seconds. New month, new goals, new mindset. Here we go, we're starting it off strong here. Let's get ready. Next movement, high knee three step. Let's get uncomfortable. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, three, three. Here we go, remember, had that pause after that third knee up, had that pause, coming up to my hip level. See, I'm moving my arms too. The more of your body that moves, the greater the demand on the body, the more calories you burn, the higher your heart rates get. Come on, halfway. Yep, come on. Fifteen seconds. Three, three, three. Three, two, time. Forty-five seconds. Deep breaths. The nose. Out of the mouth. Tall. Grab a drink if you need it. Control the breathing that allow you to recover and let those heart rates come down. After every interval, you should need that recovery. You should need that recovery. So use that as an intensity check, 15 seconds. If you feel like you can go right to another round or something, your goal here, see if you can ratchet up that intensity a little bit. Here we go, next round, chair hop overs. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathe all throughout. If you got that line going across the middle. If you're trying to clear with your feet each time. Remember option? Quick step to the side. Quick two step as an option. Hang in there, team. Play. 30 seconds. Come on. You got this. Fight for it. Come on, stay with me. I'm with you. We got 15. That's it. Come on, all the way through that finish line. Three, two, time. 45. There you go. That's it. All throughout that work team, remember, working out, doing all this, it's an opportunity team. I love that word. If you know me in the studio, opportunity. Every workout, opportunity to get better, opportunity to get closer to those goals. Okay? Let's have a seat. We got about 15 seconds, and then we're going into those chair dips. 
Remember, if you need that option to reduce the range of motion or to bring your feet in close to your body, do it. But initiate the movement through the palms of your hands. Three, two, one, chair dip. So remember, if you notice with me, once I go down, I push through the palms of my hands through the chair. Okay, if I were to do it like this, okay, then I'm initiating my up movement from my hips. That's not the goal. Go here, push through the chair to get your body up. Halfway, shoulder blades pull back, elbows in. Push through the chair. Push through the chair to get up. Just like in a push up, you push through the ground, push through the chair to get up. 15 seconds. Not really going for a lot of reps here. Quality over quantity. Three, two, time. 45 seconds. Shake out those arms. You should feel that right in the back. Those arms, those triceps team. Okay. Shake them out a little bit. A little movement here. About 30 seconds. And then we're going to go to the last exercise of this round. High plank to single leg lift to knee tuck. Now remember, with the high plank, you have a drink that's on your back. Don't spill it. If your hips are coming up and down too much, widen your feet, widen your base of support, and or lower that leg lift. You shouldn't be coming up too high with those legs on the leg lift portion. Three, two, one, let's go. So you notice on my leg lift, I'm not going up too high. All right, that way, my hips stay in the same spot. That way I keep that drink on my back. 15 seconds. I don't bring the knee all the way toward the chest. I come to about hip level, just like the high knee three step. Three, two, one, let's switch sides. Remember, knee comes to about hip level, just like the high knee three step. Shoulders back. Balance that drink. 15 seconds. Control. Three, two, time. That completes round two. One minute. There we go. This isn't just about bringing the heart rates up. We got that cardio element in this workout. But it's also core. Remember that word I started off with, cardio. So control is power when it comes to core work. Okay? Now remember, this third round, last round, you'll have a minute of recovery in between the movements. So your goal is to try to match or beat slightly your intensity from the previous round. Okay? You got it. I know you got it. I believe in you, 15 seconds. You believe Coach Ryan can do it. You know what? Coach Ryan believes you can do it as well, okay? Let's make these last rounds, like I say, last round, best round. Three, two, one, scissor jump. Boom. That's it, get those arms moving. Come on. You got it, all the way through that finish line. Come on. All right, team, halfway, 30 seconds. So I can build the attention a little bit. Let's do it. You've got a minute of recovery after this, come on. So push to all out, effort each round. We got 15, go on. That's it, all the way through that finish line. Three, two, time. One minute, scissor jump, over and double. 
Control your breathing. Stay up tall. Deep breaths. Into the nose, out of the mouth. Eat that drink. Grab it. Walk around a little bit. And as always, stay up. Stay tall. I don't want you to hunch over. Okay, regardless of what position you may be in, keep that chest up. Chest tall, halfway. 30 seconds. Okay, this is the time to settle in that breathing. Use this recovery. Just like on an all out day, a power day on the Trent Bike and Strider, we want to use these recoveries. We don't want to go right to base pace because the goal here is having that intensity level each effort. Okay, so think of this as a power day in the studio. Here we go. Three, two, one, high knee knee step. So remember, get that pause after that third high knee. Hip level. Three, 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 three. Cool, you got it all the way through. Get those arms moving. Halfway, 30 seconds. One, two, three, three, three. Come on, all the way through that finish line, 15. Yes, you can. You got this. In three, two, time. One minute, deep breaths. I don't know about you personally, I tend to find that orange zone by the end for that high knee three step. That's the one right there, deep breaths. Go tall. There we go, control team. Here we go. Now we're over, we're over 20 minutes in, okay? So at certain points, you may think, man, I don't know if I can do it. All right, yes, you can. The body can do it. It's the mind that's the limit. So again, always get those positive thoughts in, positive energy. That will help you to go a long way because your body can go a long way. 15 seconds, and then we're going to that final cardio portion of this tornado with the hopovers. If you got that line, that you're trying to clear each time. Here we go. Three, two, one, to your hop over. Hold. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's keep that intensity. If you can take it up, let's take it up. Come on. There you go, halfway, 30 seconds. You got this for 30, come on. Don't quit, don't quit. Keep on rolling, team, I'm here with you. If you need to take an option, take the option, but keep moving, keep feeling uncomfortable, 15. That's it, all the way through, three. Two, time. There we go. One minute. Yes, indeed. Come on. Here's that virtual fist bump. Here's that virtual high five. We're not done yet. I'm just giving you that fist bump and that high five to help get you through this team. Okay? Deep breaths. Stay up tall. Whew. Never miss a Monday, team. Never miss a Monday. Halfway, 30 seconds. So you can start to have a seat. Now remember, with that chair dip, remember, push through the chair. Your movement should be initiated through the chair, through the palms of your hands. Your legs really shouldn't move at all, okay? Your butt should be going up and down because of the movement initiating from the palms but your legs should stay in the same spot. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, 
Only reason my butt goes up and down is because I'm pushing through the chair with my palms. Elbows in, elbows in, roll the shoulder blades back. Keep that chest lifted. Okay, follow those cues. You should feel this team burn it in the back of your arms. Remember, if you need an option, take it halfway. Reduce the range of motion. Bring your heels close to your butt, but still focus on pushing through the chair with your palms. We got 15. Come on. That recovery's gonna feel good, but let's work through the work period to earn that recovery all the way through. One more rep. And time. One minute. Into the nose. Out to the mouth. Shake out those arms. All right. Backs of the arms should be on fire. You can make a flex right in the mirror. You can flex those triceps in the mirror if you got a mirror close to you. I don't got a mirror that I'm looking at, but I got my camera. No, Coach Ryan was good. All right, so if you got that mirror, you can post those triceps too because you're running the team. Halfway. Okay? We're going to end it with the high plank, single leg lift to knee tuck. So like I've been saying all throughout, you're trying to keep that drink balanced on your back. Don't spill the drink. Don't spill the drink, team, okay? Control this power here for this final movement, okay? Let's get set, high plank. Three, two, one, let's roll. Back's flat. Remember that knee comes to my hip level, like the high knee three step. 15 seconds before we switch sides. That's it, control, control team. Three, two, one, let's switch sides. Control team, all the way through. We got 15 seconds. Come on. In three, two, time, hold, shake it out, fist pump, high five. That was your cardio tornado team. Awesome job. Grab a drink. Get tall, get up, towel off. That liquid awesome, if you need to. Like Coach Ryan, amazing work team. Never miss a Monday, greatest hits, volume eight, okay? Our first three stretches, let to control our breathing as we settle will be from the standing position. We're gonna start team with the standing overhead side reach. Let's gently grab the wrist of one arm or one hand, bring both arms on top, and let's lean on over toward the opposite side. Okay, we're here for 20 seconds. Feel that stretch right in the lats and obliques of the side you stretch away from. Okay, we've had a lot of oblique movement with that first block team. That's why I want to stretch it out here. In three, two, one, let's shake it out. Let's grab the other wrist. Let's take it up and over. Let's switch sides, 20 seconds. And keep that breathing going into the nose, out the mouth. 10 more seconds. In three, two, one. Shake it out. Standing quad stretch. Let's take one leg. Pull it back, try to drive the knee to the floor. If you need to hang on to something, please do so. Let's hold here for 20 seconds. With the free hand, either hang on to something, point to your belly button, nose, bring it up. Those will help you with balance. But this is about the stretch, not about balance. Here we 
we go. In three, two, time, shake that a little bit. And switch sides. Let's hold here for 20. Amazing job, team. As always, we will keep you updated in terms of studio reopening, okay? As soon as we know something from the state, where we can go all out, we'll get that communication to you and we'll get you inside the studio team. And relax, hamstring stretch, standing. One leg back, that front foot leg is straight, let's sink into the and hip of the bent leg and then back flat, you can reach toward the ankle and toes of that straight leg. Let's hold here for 20. And thank you so much for bearing with us as we work through this period. Again, we're getting ready to open up and we're just waiting on the heads up for the go sign from the state. As soon as we get that, we'll be ready for your team. And relax, let's switch sides. But all throughout team, I still want you to keep on working. So continue with these at-home workouts. Okay, continue with your own routines, even if you're not doing at-home workouts. Okay, don't use the studio being closed as an excuse to slip, to get away from your fitness goals. And relax. Keep on working, team. Cross-legged spinal twist. Let's have a seat on your butt. Let's cross those legs. Feet, and then let's rotate for one side. We're going to hold here for 20. Yes, indeed. Okay, so again, nothing's like the in studio experience team. But again, like I said, don't let the studio be closed as an excuse to stop. So keep on grinding, whether it's the at home OTF, running, lifting, relax. And let's switch sides, slow here for 20. Keep on working, keep on grinding. Team. That way you'll be ready to hit the ground running when we open up our doors again. There you go, I'm off my soapbox now, there we go. And relax, finally, figure four stretch. Let's lay down on your back. Let's cross the ankle behind the knee of the grounded leg. Let's pull through the opening, pull behind the hamstring of the grounded leg and bring that leg up toward your chest. Let's hold here for 20 seconds. If you wanna roll out those ankles while you're here, you can. Have a lot of dynamic movement. You wanna roll out those ankles. I know I like to with this stretch. In three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Yeah, let's hold here for 20. Yeah. In three, two, time. And ladies and gentlemen, you are done. Never miss a Monday, greatest hits. Volume number eight. Amazing job, team. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, whatever, you can post them in the comments. I'll get to them a little bit later. This will be up on our Facebook page after I end the video, and it will be on YouTube within the hour. Awesome job, team. Remember, stay in school. Don't do drugs. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Drive sober, get pulled over. Stay alive. Don't text and drive. Click it or ticket. Exit to text it only you. Remember, wildfires. Wakanda forever. Be a thinker, not a stinker, and don't get arrested. And may the force be with you and live long and prosper. May the odds be forever in your favor. Make like a tree leaf. Get out of here. Now, if you're running, don't do those scissor jumps. Don't run with scissors. That's dangerous. Here's your fist pump again. Here's your high fives. But please stay six feet away from me. And please, please, please wash your hands and don't drink Clorox. Get out of here, you crazy.